Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do Soul Calibur 6 online gameplay with Siegfried. And this is basically going to be part 2 to it because I really want to continue telling his story. Uh, I find it very interesting. I just want to keep going. So real quick, for every 50 subscriber this channel gets, I'm going to do a $50 giveaway to one lucky subscriber. Either through PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. And if you happen to have your own YouTube channel, I will subscribe to your channel as well. I think all YouTube creators should subscribe to one another's channel to help each other's channel grow. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the like button down below. Don't forget to check out the community page to see the latest image poll. I also have a new playlist called Announcements, so you can stay informed with everything you need to know about this channel, upcoming events, raffles, and giveaway. And if you really want to support this channel, any donation, big or small, will help the channel grow. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed today's video. All right, here we go, guys. So we left off with him with Siegfried becoming Nightmare all over again, right? Desperately pursuing the fragments of the Soul Ledge that he might be fully um, be able to restore it, as Nightmare plunder a powerful soul and recover shatters of the fragments of the sword, and the cracks of Soul Ledge heal one by one. Holy shit! I'm fighting Bruce Lee. Nice. This should be a good fight. Eh, kind of looks like him. Well, as much as I enjoy watching all your movie Bruce Lee, I'm not the whoop that ass. Anyways, uh, it says here one by one, right? So his goal of reviving the evil sword, um, sword edge, forward um, towards completion. After some time, the Azura Knight returned to his old stronghold of Arthurusburg, as it is um, bloody land was fitting stage for the restoration of the evil sword's true power. In the ruins of the chapel, a lone fencer, Raphael, appeared in search of Soledge. The two of them faced off. At the end of the fierce battle, Nightmare stood victorious. As he stepped forward to finish Raphael off, he muttered something incro incro incoherently? Well, I guess his last dying words, whatever. So, deep within Nightmare's eyes, a faint light dwelt. It was the world of Siegfried. As he struggled to free his mind from the influence of the evil spirits of the swords near at him, the two of them held for a formless fight as Siegfried struggled to take his body back while the Inferno mocked him and his father. Sometime during this, Raphael made a desperate last strike and damaged Soul Edge, and contributing factor to Siegfried's final escape. And that's the end scene of Soul Calibur 2. Now, Going to Soul Calibur 3, the battle raging deep within his mind um, accused of the Azura Knight to stand emotionless behind him. The wounded body of Raphael trembled. Only Raphael's great will enabled his uh, greatly injured body to move, drawing his last strength. Raphael unleashed a desperate final blow upon his enemy. The strike pierced the center of Soul Edge. Nightmare let out an inhuman cry inside him. The crazy wounded mind of the evil sword clawed at his consciousness. Siegfried stood with an iron will against the raging storm and finally restored control. Now he who has been lost uh, to the curse of sword for so long had reclaimed his body as his own. In response to the rapid weakening evil, the light poured out like the upcoming of dawn. When, was, when it was all over, Siegfried thought back to the days over what he had done. As he looked around, the, he sighted a sword that appeared along the light. As he guided by something that he took the sword in his hand and drove it into the evil eye. That he was the core soul of Edge, Soul Edge. Ah, right, here we go. Final battle. Yo, Bruce Lee was no joke. This guy is very tough. But my YouTube channel, son, you got to go down. All right, so the sword was the Holy Sword of Soul Calibur, which had been trapped by the power of the evil sword. The blow, however, was not enough to destroy the evil sword. The evil energy of Soul Edge had quieted back the Holy Sword, still piercing the cursed sword, had gone si uh, silent. As if it too had lost its power. This is enough. Forcing his exhausted mind into motion. As he began to think, he threw off his detestable armor and smashed it into pieces. Then picking up both swords, 
he left that cursed land. I will seal away Soul Edge for all eternity and atone for my sins. Now question, while he was having I guess a mental breakdown, Raphael seized the moment to do the final strike now, even though he's probably dying, wounded, and then he somehow snaps out of it, destroys Sacred, destroys the sword, but <laughs> I could only imagine Raphael somewhere in the corner bleeding out to death. <laughs> Poor Raphael. <laughs> Alright, so it says here, Eternity to atone for my sins. This I swear. I told you I was going to be Bruce Lee, bro. He ain't got no match for me, but this I swear. His bloody fate would not release him to so easily. However, from time to time, the feeling of that grotesque armor of him arose to the depths of his memory to reside of the nightmare tormented him day and night. You know, he's still the struggle power between his mind and nightmare trying to take over was real like that's what he was atoning for uh constantly after all those people that he murdered as well it says though seeking revenge on uh, nightmare will be occasionally appear on his path each time he was forced to fight them he is his mind was racked with guilt more and more sifric did not realize that another dark omen was on the horizon indeed there was no way for him to know that the azura knight would soon be revived and a man who wanted to end the everlasting curse wanted the two swords in order to do it. Eventually, Siegfried and the uh, resurrected Azura Knight would meet again in, um, in the Lost Cathedral. Zazamel uh, used his dark arts to break the soul embrace in order to become the Abyss. Siegfried and Nightmare defeated the Abyss and both the spirit of the sword and cursed sword were freed finally both Sifrig and nightmare took their respective sword and clashed one more time causing an explosion that destroyed the entire cathedral and nearby destroyed both of them and that was the ending of soul caliber 3. so now we get to soul caliber 4 which to me is my favorite game of all time because darth vader was in it yes so it says here someone was calling on to him but he could not clearly hear it. He strained to see, but could see nothing. Then the voices came again, and this time he could hear every single word. So you will forsake our friendship? Yes, no one will ever again be part of my life. Every man or woman who has known me has ultimately fallen to death. Touch. So go. Leave me and forget that you ever knew me. The voice that had replied was his own. He began to lose his consciousness. His focus wavered. And then another voice came to him from behind. I have seen what you have done. Now you devote your life to atoning for your sins and redeem your soul. Are you not such a victim? For, for a bad sword as the others. No, 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 no. No matter what belinging words you whisper, my sins cannot ever be forgiven. I slew my own father with my own hands. No curse or forced me to do that. As Sifrig spoke to his, uh, his own answers, basically, the men who questioned him faded from his vision to be replaced once more by the memories of that night. The wind blew the clouds from the... Wait. The wind blew the clouds from the faces of the moon, and suddenly the head that he had held triumphantly, a loft was grimly revealed, and he saw the face of, and he saw the face, and there was no denying the truth. It was his father. His heart was in agony, and if it had been pierced by a white hot blade, blade, you know. Damn. I'm trying to see if I could get three in a row on this Ivy player. Let me see if I get it with a special. Daddy. Sorry, Ivy. Better luck next time. So it says your Sifrig jerked upright as he yanked it out by a puppeteer string. The full moon bathed in his face of light. It had been a dream. He was all alone. He pressed his hands against the armor that covered his heart. A terrible scar marked him there. 
the maelstrom of power unleashed by the Soul Calibur and Soul Edge clash at the Lost Cathedral had torn his body apart. His long quest to destroy the Cursed Sword had been so nearly completely completed. Redemption had been within his grasp, yet in the moment he had died, the scream of the frustration at his failure silenced of his lips. Perhaps the spirit sword responded to the outpouring of emotions, for the sword whose destiny it was to destroy the cursed sword resonated with Siegfried's soul. It chose you, Siegfried, for its master. Doing so saved his life. All right, so Siegfried thought again of the dream that he had just seen. He thought that of all the people that he who had once stood by him and the people he had left despite knowing that Siegfried was none other than Nightmare himself. Well, I got a rematch with Ivy? No, this is a different Ivy. Okay, I thought it was the same person for a moment. All right. Bathed in the moonlight, Siegfried looked up into the night sky. He knew now what he must do. He would brush aside the outstretched hand that tried to help him. Once, not so long ago, he had stood at the center of the terror that Nightmare um, brought. The enemy he now faced was the cursed devourer of souls, Soul Edge. Awaiting him was the maelstrom of destruction unleashed by the cathedral. Soul Calibur shone with a cold light in his hand. Sifrig made up his mind to become like the sword. No one would touch his heart. No man or woman would sway him from his path until the cursed sword was destroyed for all time. Images of this um, brothers in arm, comrades, even friends that might have been, and of course his father, flashed one by one through his mind. He was alone. And he had no choice but to be alone, for he would never again hurt those he loved. Yeah, solitude. That's what he's been trying to do all this time, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Sifra turned his gaze away from the heavens. Before him, a black shadow lay heavy over the cursed city of Ostersburg. His journey was coming to an end. And that's it. So now we're in Soul Calibur 5. But I am running out of time. I don't know if I should make another video, which I probably will, because I am very interested. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it right there. So when we start the next video, I'm gonna start it at Soul Calibur 5. But let me see if I could just finish this battle real quick. Bro, IV players are very strong, man, because they have... Bro, I know I have a long sword, the broad sword right there that gives me range, but they have hella range, man. With her whip, she has a longer reach. But I have to like run into her because if not, she's gonna catch me. Like, I cannot give her a chance to breathe. Ah, oh, she got me. Oh, wait, did I get her? Get your ass out of here. Three straight. Somebody go get the broom. It's a sweep with the special. Yeah, man, I, I hate playing against Ivy players. They're super strong and. Ah, but got lucky. Nah, I didn't get lucky. Yeah, skills. But yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned to the next video. I will be making a part three for Siegfried. And so far, we left off at Soul Calibur 4, the ending. And when I start the next video, we'll be in Soul Calibur 5. Alright, guys, see you on the next one.